The finding of Robert Foster, an exculpatory witness that they said was nothing more than a typographical error, but he was an armed robber. He committed a robbery across the street from the Ziegler Furniture Store the night of the murders. He's Charlie Mays' friend. He escaped from prison four times. He's on the police report that was used to take Tommy Ziegler out of his bed and then called nothing more than a typographical error by the state of Florida. And he is not one, and he exists, and he was in town, and a big, huge man was throwing Tommy Ziegler around the furniture store. If you go to TommyZieglerIsInnocent.com, all of the truth serum tapes that he did in that time are all on there. And if you think that you can be on that sodium brevitol and then lie about a quadruple murder four times, listen to, the, listen to him on there. He walked in. He fell down, he was pushed down, he was in the fight of his life, and he ended up being shot. And he was thrown around by a big, huge man. And we know Charlie Mays was there, and we know that they were friends, and we also know that there was a huge cover-up. And if, it, if you all read over the information in the newspaper stories, you, don't, wouldn't, you would want to wonder, why wasn't this guy at the preliminary hearing? Why? You would think the press would have been on that like a, I mean, over where we live, oh, if they, say I'm reading the newspaper, all right, the Tampa Bay Times, and in this Tampa Bay Times, it says like the wrong name of my, of my witness, one time, I'm calling them up, two times, oh my God, okay, for three weeks, and I'm, I have a preliminary hearing coming up, and I'm going, nice, nice, I don't say anything, and then on the day of the preliminary hearing, I say to the lawyers, oh, he was just a typographical error, and now he's not, and he's a real person that could have been on the stand, but no, he couldn't. How are you going to put somebody like that on the stand against Tommy Ziegler? He was a football coach. He was on the city beautification committee. Tommy Ziegler never committed a crime in his life. You don't want a guy like that on the stand. No, you don't. So you got to call him a typographical error. So your position.